Hi, this is Pat Love back with Pat's Two Cents. Listen, I want you to think about how you felt when somebody tried to share God with you. Now, I'm going to share my take on it, okay? I was not raised in church, so telling me I needed to come back to the Lord wasn't going to work for me. I did not believe in heaven or hell, which a lot of people out there don't. So telling me about that didn't work for me. It may work for some, but I'm not one to be threatened into something. I have to want something with my heart. Now, what I have found, if when I look back, <clears throat> if someone had come to me from a different angle, I probably would have committed my heart a long time ago. But let me tell you this. All I heard was, oh, you better not cuss. Oh, you better not smoke. Oh, you can't fornicate. Oh, you can't party. Oh, you, and it just sounded like a list of don'ts, don'ts, don'ts. You can't, you can't, you can't. Oh, you better not. Oh, you better not. Oh, God's going to get you. Oh, you're going to be punished. What's appetizing about that? Now, I was searching, I was looking, I was digging, I was scratching, because I was empty. I needed something. Didn't know what it was, but I needed something. Now, what if someone who took their time to get to know me and my issues had sat down across from me at a dinner table and said, you know, Pat, I know you've been through a lot of hurts in your life. But would you believe this? God is so loving. He will remove every one of your emotional scars. Right there, they get my attention. I'd be like, huh? Are you serious? With all my skepticisms of the church, that would have gotten my attention. Because now somebody's not preaching at me, not throwing religion and shoving it down my throat, making me gag off of it. But now they're coming from the standpoint of love, wholeness, healing, having deep-seated needs met that I didn't know could be met. Do you know I have literally listened to this, you guys, this is why I say we cannot lead anybody where we have never been. I sat there and listened to a pastoral panel of born again, bona fide, born again Christians, one of whom I knew. And I was shocked when he didn't speak up in rebuttal, but he did not. The show ended on this note. We just have, this is the quote, this is a loose quote, the gist of what they said. We just have to accept the fact that there are some emotional scars that will never get healed. There are, you know, you know, whatever we're dealing with from the past and people dying and hurts that we've had, those things we'll just have to deal with them for the rest of our lives. Do you know I couldn't believe my ears? I'm listening to them. I'm a recipient of all of God's inner healing and they're telling me he doesn't do that? Well, what is the world going to go to God for? If God can't help me get my head screwed on right, and I'm going to live my life a mess. I don't need him. I can be a mess all by myself. That's like a woman looking for a man. And every man she picks is broke. She's broke, they're broke. Well, what does she need them for? She can be broke all by herself. I at least respect a poor woman looking for a sugar daddy. She's looking for somewhere to get her out of her mess. When you're looking
looking, when you're searching, you're looking for improvement. You're looking for meaning. You're looking for something to make sense out of the chaos. You're looking for hope, a better way, a better life, a, a better you. Well, you can't get that if everybody is telling you, you're stuck, girl. You're stuck, bro. Hey, is what it is. No, it ain't what it is. You are not identified. You are... You are not who you were. You are not destined to live out a life being jacked up because of what they did to you. That's a lie from the pit. That's a lie on God. God is able. He's able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that you can ask or think. According to the power that works in you, in your faith. When God told Abraham to step out and look at the land. He said, as far as your eyes can see. That have I given you. So how far can your eyes see? Can you see freedom? Can you see love? Can you see peace and wholeness? Can you fathom healing? Can you imagine success? Can you can you conjure up in your mind the 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 whole uh idea of growth, inner growth? And maturity, living a productive life versus a self-destructive life. Can you see it? If you got the nerve to see a baby, you got it. As the kids say, that's word. If you can conjure it up in your head. And it's a good thing. And it's in God's will, baby. You got it. The nobody you used to be does not exist anymore when you get in Christ Jesus. Don't listen to born again Christians who say it is what it is. Don't listen to them when they say, well, it doesn't get much better than this. God can't, you know, you, you know, there's only so much God can do, you know. Oh, shut up all that crap. That's a lie from the pit. God can turn a rock into a piece of candy if he wants to. Even the devil had enough sense to know that God could turn those stones into bread when he was trying to tempt Jesus. He knows God's power. I apologize to all of you who have hesitated from getting to know God because some stuff-nosed, born-again Christian is just displaying to you a list of limits. Limits, 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 limits. What you can't, what you don't, what you better not. Limits. You're so caught up in that. You're, you're missing the beauty of all that God has for your life. And you're trading that for junkiness. Junky lies. That you've been falling for all your life. It's time to climb up out of that grave. That's not all there is for you. But you can't see it till you climb up out of it. And then you have somewhere to look around. You can't see nothing but the grave if you're in the grave. Get up out of that thing. Okay, it's just these are the last days and I'm just so tired of mamby-pamby religion and mamby-pamby witnessing and mamby-pamby uh, soul winners and people that don't know all that God can do and they're trying to convince you and, and they got a broke, busted, disgusted faith and they want you to go for the okie doke. So 
much more to God. So much to experience in the natural, in the supernatural. Please take the plunge. And those of you who are witnessing, witness where life really hits, where God really gets his hands dirty. And let people know that no matter where they've been or what has happened to them or what they've done, there is hope for them because of God.